Members of one D.C. community are making an urgent call to action tonight. They say several grassroots groups are out working with youth to help prevent violence, but they need help. Tonight, The Wire, or Women Involved in Reentry Efforts, hosted a town hall at Busboys and Poets in Anacostia. News Force Walter Morris is in Southeast tonight with their message. They say, who do I speak for? I say to youth. The broken hearted, the dude who ain't have it again but still finish what he started. No. Through poetry and passionate pleas, Wednesday, D.C. community members coming together, calling on local leaders and each other to get involved and lend a hand to the folks who are out on the front lines. They have the attention of the youth, but they don't have the resources to properly serve them. Dozens of residents and reps for grassroots organizations filling this room at Busboys and Poets on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue Wednesday for a town hall organized by The Wire. Women involved in reentry efforts. A lot of calls from people in the community that are doing prevention work that need support. They're calling on us for help with food and transportation and pro social activities. These community organizers touching on what they need to help prevent violence in DC while also highlighting programs that are working. Oh, my motivation is to go to college and just be better. We tried some new food. We learned about different opportunities that they can have. It felt so empowering to hear from their voice because we're on the same page. LaShawna thompson L with The Wire says this conversation is just the beginning. She says there's several local grassroots groups actively working with young people and seeing positive results, but they need more resources and volunteers to go the distance. Bottom line is that people need funding in order to be able to support young people, especially during the summer when they're not in school. In Southeast, Walter Morris. Do you know you can be who you want to be if you try to be what you can be? News 4.